My dear listener, it is now time for Catechism of the Catholic Church and in studios. I have the pleasure to welcome Father Joseph Muchibi, who is going to be presenting the program. Father, you are most welcome. Thank you, Mlongo Kato. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, now, and ever shall be, world without end. end. Amen. Amen. O Lord, listen kindly to our prayers, and as our faith in your Son, raised from the dead, is deepened, so may our hope of resurrection for your departed servants also find new strength. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are among all women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. The most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. Mary, Queen of Heaven, pray for us. All the saints in heaven, intercede for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I welcome you, dear brothers and sisters, to this session of Catechism. And I thank God for you, for all the spiritual and the temporal benefits he has extended to each and every one of us. We thank God for this new month, and in a special way, in the Holy Catholic Church, where we commemorate all the saints in heaven and all the faithful departed. Today, dear sister, dear brother, we remember in a special way our brothers and sisters who have preceded us into eternal life. Our remembering is not done with the grief like those who have no hope. Rather, we do so in a spirit of faith and hope, knowing that the faithful departed share in the resurrection of Christ and live in communion with us. So, all people of God have had this experience in their lives. They have lost their dear ones after the heart of God. So today, it is incumbent on you and me to commemorate all the faithful departed, your beloved ones, your friends and other souls in purgatory. Yesterday, we reflected more deeper on all the saints. These are the ones who lived the will of God while still here on earth and they are in heaven. And Mother Church teaches us in our creed, in our profession of faith, that one day, one time, we shall be in communion with these saints. As we embrace life here on earth, we live with them by virtue of charity. It is charity that connects us with all the saints in heaven. Out of sight is not out of mind. That's why 
we always live with them. We pray through their intercession that we may have also a life worthy of righteousness. All saints means what to me and you. Mother Church teaches us that the saints are in heaven. Those who die in God's grace and friendship and are perfectly purified live forever with Christ. They are like God forever, for they see him as he is face to face. This perfect life with the most holy trinity presupposes communion of life and love with the trinity, with the Virgin Mary, the angels and all the blessed. And in short, this is what we call heaven. Heaven is the ultimate end and the fulfillment of the deepest human longings the state of supreme, definitive happiness, because we shall be seeing God face to face. To live in heaven is to be with Christ. Another name for God is heaven. So it means all saints in heaven are with God. This is the day we celebrated yesterday. By his death and resurrection, Jesus Christ opened heaven to us. And the life of the blessed consists in the full and perfect possession of the fruits of the redemption accomplished by Christ. So we are partners with God in heaven. As a pilgrim church, our deepest longings should be focused on heaven where God is. That beatific vision is meant for you and me. Heaven means that there is no exclusivity. You and me are meant to be in heaven after this world. And so, this urge focuses on your deepest recesses to know the will of God from your heart, living a life of love, a life embedded in God's will every moment. That's what the saints embraced during their pilgrimage here on earth. And St. Paul, in one of his letters, calls us saints. Why? Because heaven is meant for you and me. We cannot forward add or advance any reason why we are not saints. What stops us from responding positively to that urge. So heaven is for you and me. And it is a struggle as we live here. The prerequisites is living the will of God every moment. Embracing charity, being a beacon of light and salt to the life of others, being a visible sign to indicate invisible grace for all the people around you. To show them that God exists, God lives. That's our work. So if you want to become saints, as we celebrated yesterday, this is very, very important in your life for me and you. And today, we want to pray for the dead. Mlongkato, 
Yes, Father. Have you now come to understand that Mother Church is wise? Definitely. It gives all avenues for her sons and daughters to experience that relationship with one another mm. in prayer and in solidarity. Through the properly arranged liturgical year. Yes. Yes. So yesterday we celebrated All Saints Day and today we are commemorating all the faithful departed. Mm. Meaning that we have to pray for them as they are being purged. And that's what we call purgatory. And remember, in the Catechism of the Catholic Church, praying for the dead, burying the dead, and praying for the dead are spiritual works of mercy. Be merciful as your Father in heaven is merciful. merciful. And Mother Church today gives us three masses to celebrate. You cannot miss out on this opportunity to pray for the loved ones. And what you give is what you receive, the law of nature. Hmm. What they are is what, what? you shall be. Hmm. And what they wear is, is what, what we, we are. Mm. Be charitable, sister, brother. Pray for the dead. There is no cause of pride today. Your sacrifice is going to change the state of all those souls in purgatory. You remember Mulongkato in Uganda, we sing, Esara yo jono soma yene jangu yiza. Okutuka mkwe sima. So we have the key to close or to open heaven for these departed souls. Where two or three are gathered in my name, I'm in their midst. Hmm. It means... God is ready to listen to your prayers. Make an effort to pray for your loved ones, friends, and other souls in purgatory. When we talk about purgatory or the final purification, we mean all who die in God's grace and friendship but still imperfectly purified are indeed assured of their eternal salvation. But after death, they undergo purification so as to achieve the holiness necessary to enter the joy of heaven. Mother Church is categorical in its teaching. We have three churches. We have the triumphant church, that is heaven, mm. where all saints are. We have the suffering church. Is that church in purgatory? That church being commemorated today, 2nd November. And we have the pilgrim church where you and me are. So our prayers will do much to help these souls in purgatory to reach God to enjoy the beatific vision. So there is a communion of these three churches. Yes. Yeah. And we are all members of one church. Yes. And the focal point is one, charity. Mm. That virtue joins all churches. Triumphant church, militant church, and the suffering church. And the suffering church. Your prayer is to be listened to by God. You remember in the Gospel of St. John, when Mary and Martha pleaded to Jesus, if you are here, our brother Lazarus wouldn't have died. 
and Jesus said to them, He will rise. He will resurrect at the last day. Because Jesus is resurrection himself. Jesus is life. What an assurance. He is the author of life. He is the author of life. Mm. So Mother Church gives the name purgatory to this final purification of the elect, which is entirely different from the punishment of the damned. There is hope. This is what I said in my introduction. We do so, we pray for them in a spirit of faith and hope, knowing that the faithful departed share in the resurrection of Christ and live in communion with us joined by charity. So Mother Church formulated her doctrine of faith on purgatory, especially at the councils of Florence and Trent. We have to think about those people in a special way because love abounds. Love has no measure. It extends to heaven. It extends to purgatory that suffering church. Many religious denominations have opposed this idea mm. because of pride, because of their imaginations, because of their opinions. And they suspend the objective truth. They always ask, where is it in the Bible? Yes. For them, they have affirm only two places, yes. either heaven or hell. But God has always revealed to his church mm. the prerequisites for our destiny. The Holy Spirit is always at work. The Holy Spirit is in the church. You remember in the upper room? In the Chenaco. Mm. When Mary was with the disciples and the Holy Spirit descended upon, upon them, them and they began preaching. Their mission was always inspired by God, by Holy Spirit, by the Holy Spirit. So why do we pray for the dead? It is a very important question for you and me. Why do we pray for the dead? We shall base on scripture and the lives of saints as well. Why do we pray for the dead? Is it necessary? You remember very well, Mother Church encourages us to pray for them because it is a spiritual work of mercy. mercy the apostles struck disciples have always talked about life after and Jesus is himself and if I may reiterate the example of Mary and Martha before Jesus after the death of Lazarus, their brother. Jesus gave an assurance that he will resurrect at the end of time. Why? Because I'm the way, life, and the truth. Jesus is the resurrection. So, the earliest scriptural references to prayers for the dead comes from the second book of Maccabees. The books of Maccabees were among the latest written books found in the Old Testament. And they recount the struggle of the Jewish people for freedom against the Seleucid Empire around the year 100 before the birth of Christ. And these books are written from an orthodox Jewish point of view. 
and the second book of Maccabees tells how Judas Maccabee, the Jewish leader, led his troops into battle. When the battle ended, he directed that the bodies of those Jews who had died be buried. As soldiers prepared their slain comrades for burial, they discovered that each was wearing an amulet taken as booty from a pagan temple. And this violated the law of Deuteronomy. And so Judas and his soldiers prayed that God would forgive the sins of these men they had committed. And this is the first indication in the Bible. Now, should there be any other reason why we deny, why we neglect, why we refuse deliberately to pray for the dead? So he encouraged people to collect money to pray for these dead soldiers, dead comrades. And it is also echoed in the New Testament when St. Paul offers a prayer for a man named Onesphorus who had died. He said in his words, this is what St. Paul said, May the Lord grant him to find mercy from the Lord on that day. If you are listening to me, dear brother, dear sister, could you please check Second Timothy chapter 1, verse 18? Uh, another evidence, and the cave-like tombs under the city of Rome, which we call catacombs, bear evidence that members of the Roman Christian community gathered there to pray for their fellow followers of Christ who lay buried there. By the fourth century, prayers for the dead are mentioned in Christian literature as though they were already a long-standing custom. So praying for the dead stretches far back centuries and centuries. Therefore, you and me are invited to engage in this noble and pious act of praying for the dead. And it is also another evidence the practice of praying for the dead is also rooted in Christian belief in the everlasting life promised in Jesus' teachings and foreshadowed by his disciples' experience that God had raised him from the dead. If Jesus had not resurrected, then our Christian life makes no meaning. Our life is embedded in the resurrection of Christ. That's why we always celebrate Masses on Sundays, the third day when Jesus rose from the dead. And still others ask, why do you worship on Sunday? It's another reason to be advanced. Because our life is hidden in the mystery of the resurrection. The resurrection is a real event. I remember one time, one day, Mlongkato, uh, my beloved professor, uh, Monsignor Lale Kanyike, mm. the parish priest of Chengela, he was always teaching us eschatology, things beyond. Mm, rusty things. Yes, last things. Mm. And he said, he asked us a question in class, do you believe in the resurrection? Do you deny it? And he was always telling us, the resurrection is a real event that cannot be touched, and it remains a mystery. Can you describe and explain a mystery? A mystery is something that really happens, and uh, it is beyond the laws of nature. Yes. Yeah. And in any way, it cannot be comprehended by human mind. Mm. The resurrection is prompted and propelled by steadfast faith 
and trust in Jesus. And uh, praying for the dead has further origins in our belief in the communion of saints. You remember our faith? Our creed. Mm. When we are professing the creed, mm. professing our faith, there is that Peter. I believe in the communion of, of saints. saints. Yes. In each and every sacrifice of mass, we profess it. And remember, our creed is far back as Nicene. We believe in the communion of saints. And members of this community who are living often assist each other in faith by prayers and other forms of spiritual support. Christians who have died continue to be members of the communion of saints. We believe that we can assist them by our prayers and they can assist us by theirs. When in heaven, today is a very special day for you and me, dear brothers and sisters, to pray for the dead. We engage in other unnecessary activities and we leave these priorities in our Christian vocation, in our Christian life. And our prayers for the dead begin at the moment of death. That's why you observe carefully after the demise or death of someone, if he has been a Christian, a staunch or a faithful Christian, you see people invoking God every moment, celebrating masses for this dead person and other persons mm. because they have faith in the resurrection. We are all invited, dear brothers and sisters, to be merciful, to be charitable during this day and attend the three masses provided to us by Mother Church. The church is a mother. That's why she provides us with all the avenues, with all the opportunities to nourish our spiritual lives as well as extending charity to other churches. Other churches, I mean the suffering church and the triumphant and church. The triumphant church. Mm. Heaven, church in heaven. Mlongkato. Yes, Father. Could you please take us for a musical break? And when we return, we shall explain more and perhaps in Uganda for our other listeners. Yes, Thank Father. you.
welcome back from the musical break our beloved listener the program is catechism of the catholic church with the father joseph mchibi presenting it today he's focusing on a very important issue or subject that is the the departed souls the departed uh, members of the church who are in the purgatory and he has explained has discussed their plight with a, a call upon us to always do some charitable work for these souls by praying for them. For without our prayers, they may suffer longer than they shouldn't suffer. Father, you are welcome to continue. Nzira mkweba za Uruganda omurunja uliza Redi Maria edabo zile kristu mumakago. Tuweba za nyomu kamba atu isi za mumwezi omukade oktoba atene tuingila mumwezi guno omuja huguwa novemba. Tusaba mkama ayongiru tuwela mnema na mikisaje okongiru kumwereza mbutu ukirivu mkwagara ate ne mbwe nkanya. Una kura lero lero kubiri mu mwezi gwa November tujukira emyo yujabafa ngabakiriza omukama all the faithful departed una kura guru twayogedde twebuliride ku batu kirivu bonna abali mu guru abamanyiddwa na abatamanyiddwa Haba mtufunye no mkisa okulaba kubatu kilivu mbude wa fe. Atenga na fe, chisoboka okubeira. Umwa kubali kumluenda chenda mwesa tu. Haba singa tuwali wawano. Nga omutu kilivu yuwana paulo uwoku bili ajamu Uganda. Yomu kubatu kilivu betumanyi. Ate waluo na haba Uganda haba kuze mmiaka kati haba mm-hmm. luumu wakagwa luumu luenda nkaga mwenda nkaga mwenda mm. nga papa paulo uumu kaga ajamu uganda ajamu uganda wano netubaraba tujukire wano mu uganda tuachaza ako kumama tereza mm. uwe kalu kata haba mune tumulaba kati mtu ukirivu lebi kuru wabi abu hibyo biyo ngiru kubago berida Ababa bili nafuna umakiso kuba ukubala bako no kumanyanti webali wano mu Uganda. Wali kumulo ina nkaga mwe nda ya nyumizi waburu unji ngantari mpali shena ukulabi <laughs> Bishop Albert Edward Baharagate mm. nga embera bu yali nga wabafu na webiskopi ya kololo yali uo nyo yali uo yali uo webiskopi oyo mwagala nyo kuba ampa evi afayo vinji <laughs> mwekerezi ya katolika mu Uganda budwentu ulako na ye mm. kale ndo bangali na mara na ye nakula bi bishop albert edward baharagate yambuli dirangate na nyumiza biche bigenda maso mwekerezi ya katolika kati mtu ukirivu papa paulo wo mukaga mm. abo natubadde ko nabo wano mu Uganda atengo mtu ukirivu bwa fefe na si bwa balonde Chitegeza, antipulu wali mm. Oteke doku kwa lida obu tuu kilivu mm. Mumidimu emi tono ne minene Ejima njidua na ejitama njidua Oteke kukubanga weisa Obra mubu waka tonda mugwe Kasa angiru kubero obu tuu kilivu Atenga chiso boka Chiso boka edadala kubanga umu kama Atuwene ma yeso ngaru hachi ulu nakuru gulo Tuwabade Tuwebu lida kuchama gero chene ma yomu kama Mubantube mm. Echama gero chokuro kukaa kwa fe the mystery of salvation the mystery of grace omukama jatuwa ngaba kristu nga ita mbatisim na masakala mentu wa malala kalu urugando urunakura gurutatu tuyaguza urunakura batu kilivuvu na haba manjidua na haba tamanjidua haba li muguru kubanga haba ntubanji ni muyuganda muno haba isobla mububu tu kilivu nga teba manjidua wajajia febo e. e. Na inga baisa mumitima jabwe Nga katonda ba munoonye za muli Mumutima mumazima Bage ndo kuitibwa Okuge enda ojari Bage enda butelevu mguru Nga tetupa manji mm-hmm. Yesu nga luwa chulu na kule gulota hade tuja guza Uluwa batu kilivu bona mguru 
Beba abafa angaba fili demu nema yomu kama na umu kwa anogwe. Neba bela ni kristu. Emile mbejona. Bali inga katonda. Bata angalija. Kubanga. Baya gara. Katonda. Neba teka mungkola. Okwa gara kwe. Bali wamu ne tulinita. Patiri. Mwana. Ne moyo mtu kivu. Kakati unakuleguro. Tuwabade. Tuwebu lida kuchokula bida kocha abwe. Ni tuwebu lida ne kwa gara. Okutugata awamu nabo. Tewali chi tugata chilala chona. Okuja kwa kwa gara. Paula atugamba mbalu wa yeji. Wandi kilabe koli inti omutue. Ogwe kumine satu. Olunjiri liolo kumine satu. Balu ya sokeyo. Atugamba wa sika debi satu. Mm. Okukiriza. Okwa gara. Nukusubida. Nukusubida. Bino bisatu. Mm-hmm. Bisigara. Na ye, echi singa vyo na mm. kwa agara. Echi ita sigara. Kwe kutugata, kwe kerezia, mm. ali wanukunsi, no mpligatori, ate, ne kerezia ali mkuru. So kare, aboluganda fena, abauliriza Radio Maria Mbudebono, ngatu itamu kufane mkuzukira kwa yezu. Yezu agula we guru, eri gwe nange. Kubanga chechifo chetuteke duo kubela mu. Ngatumazo kufa kuhonsi kuno. Kukamu. Agamba nze kuzukira. Hmm. Nze bula mu. Nze mazimu. Mburi anzikiriza. Aliba no bula mu. Bula mu chitegeza kubela na katonda. Ena kuzona. Tetutegeza bu no bula mu. Nti orade musuja. Ah. Atena bu. Abu kora ku. Kubanga tulimoyo. Na mubidi. Hmm. Yezu. Ojukira anga maze okuzukira na dayo muguru. Na agamba haba igiri zaabe ntinzize yu. Okubate gekele bifo. Era tuimba nyo. Ewa Patrick atonda. Yezu wafada yu. Na femi rembe jo. Ona joli tubele yu. Hmm. Yemi febi beani. Yesi. Nzinawe. Hmm. Echitegeza nti tuteke doble kade. Okwe bulida kuchama gero chino eche guru. Atenga ulambu wa fe. Tebutu jibu wako. Bufu kabufu usi. Ngatumazo kufa kuhonsi kuno. Atenga echi lala. Obuta beda obu wa muntu mumobili. Techitegeza nti taliwo. Chetu agambi enti out of sight is not out of mind. Katuteko okubajukida. Kerezi ya uomu guru. Ngo kwa gala kwe kutu. Yunga kubo. Atene ekerezi yo nari mpliga atori. Echitu yunga kubo kwe kwa agara kutulina jebali. Nechitu yunga wanonga tuchari kunsi era kwe kwa agara. Chichifundi kwa choka. Yezu chatua. Mm-hmm. Kati noru na kule gulotu haja guza oru na kulaba tu kilivubo na. Ato oru alero nga bili novemba. Tuja guza. Ate mungiri yenja uro okujukila. Emiyo jaba kilizabu na abafa. Ngabachi hali mpliga atoli. Mpliga atoli. Chechifo. Emiyo yuweji tukulizibwa. Ngatejini nagenda muguru. Aba madini manji na haba antu. Habala labali nebi luozo vya abwe. Ebi banyumida. Nenya fekirizia atu igiliza burunji. Nzenawe. Nti avude monsi. Ngatafiri demu bulamu. Obwe nema. Ata walala. Ngateyeju saburunji. Nsobize. Ainokso kwa mchifecho. Kubanga jetulaga mtu ukilivu. Chepapapa tukubiliza nti mbele batu ukilivu. Nga chita muomu gurubu wali umuchi. Omtu ukilivu. Kalo unakulu wali rufe natu njukizi buwanze na awe. Okusabile miyo ujo na ijiri mpligatori. Kufena haba uliliza redi umalia mbote mbunu. Tewali ya tafiru wanga ko. Tewali ya tafiru wanga ko muagaru wawe. Oba tata, oba mama, oba basenga, oba bakoja, e, mikwano jafe. Ate, no kujukile miyo yeju. Ejitali na sabida. Mungiri yenja ulo. Nyafe kerezi ya noru alira atutela uo emisa satu na ambilida. Okusabida e miyo yeju. Jukila mkatikisi mtuze tuwebu. Lida nema pega nti buliruo zika. Era no sabida abafu, esara, chikolwa church sa echo moyo spiritual work of mercy mujukire mirimo jyo mu Kristu mujitunulire mukatikisi mu yafe walowe bikole byo mubiri ebye kisa walowe nebikole byo moyo ebye kisa ngechi mukwebyo kubyo moyo kwe kusabira emyoyo 
ya bafa emyoyo ejiri na dala mu pligatori atenda baba tu kamuguru na baba tusabira mm. kubanga baba bafuse batu kirivu katonda baba bamulaba maso ku maso oko kwikiriza kwa fe abantu banji baganyi nti entereze no eyokusabira abafuteriyo na ye tulaba okuvira dala mbiwandike ebitu kuvu mu kitabo kya makabeo ekyo kubiri ebitabo bibiri 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 eh ekitabo kisoke kya makabeo ne kitabo kyo kubiri kya makabeo ne mu kitabo kyo kubiri omutwe ogwe 12 olunyirira olana mu satu tulaba nga yuda soroza drakima kubanga bali nga mu ntalo ne balwana abasirikala abamu ne bafa ne batafira mu katonda bage na okuba tereza babazike bulungi abamu bage na ngokuba kebiranga bali ne nsiriba mbi watu akabonda akalaga nti tebafira mu kwagala kwa katonda mm yabigambe mm. betubiulira bulungi era na soroze nsimbi mu bantu ne ziweza kilo nga bidi za feza na ziweleze yeruzalimu okuzigula mwe chitambilo echiwe bwayo lwe bibi yuda ya kole ichiko lwe cho echiru unji era eche chiti wakubanga ya lia kiliza okuzukira kwa abafu singa ya lita kiliza nti abafu bali zukira chandi bade chabu siru ere chitagasa okubasabira wangu kutu nacho genda kuchiu sachi wana toa idina Hey. Chita gizo e chikola chino choku sabida haba hafa Chiviri dedala mubi asebi ya mabiga mm. Nga fetu tunabe ila umu simuno Chikola cha kukiriza Ate chikola cha kwa gara Nga mtu gambi nti chitu gata kubali Kwa gara Tewali mm. chilala mm. Awalala Tula banga paulo asabida Uru gando mba mita ones for us Mbalu wa yemu Nga gamba muka mamuwechi umuro Echaachi Ichie mbile mbi waba ngalu oo Ebi ya musoba ko Ata walala Tulaba mungigiri za za ye Zungira ye yugira ko Tinze kuzo kila Nze bulamu Uli anzikiri za talifa Wabula alibeda no bulamu Obuta kolachi Obuta kwa oo Yezu ye njini ye yugira ko Chite geza Nti baganda ba feba no Abata chieso bula Fetu ino kubaya ambako Ata wala tulaba Nga Monika agamba mutabani wa Agustino Nga mugamba anti Onzi kanga wala na wona Uwe gade Na ye Onzi jukiranga mbitambilo Kwa lutari Chite gizo kutuwa ye chitambilo chino Nga tuwe taba Elanga Tuwe gata naba batu soka Okulaba nga tusubeda emyoyo jabafa so olugando mwagalwa ona ku lwale lukusomoza jukira abantu abo mungirinja ulo baluoze ku mutima gu obasabire atenga kisobose genda mu mise ntukuvu wandike misa yo ojitwalira omusosoloti yena tojiwa muntu mulala jitwali mwekerezia e kuliyo kumpi ye kitundu olugando yo musabire Obaba Uruganda abo basabidi ne mikwano naba antu bo inzo kuluza ko ngati wali abasabida duno lwe lunaku olusanye Hello Hello Radio Maria Ye mkuru Baza mwe bakuweleza Kale sebo Odo pita enzi de wano entere mpala parish Yes sebo Ye baza katondo ba mu yo mutuki ukwa ba wasaga Amina Kubanga mukizibula amaso Bolicho na angi mbani evo zawaaji na zima dalo mu kwa inzo vuta sabi wanga afuti na yake chini kuto kwa nti ndege chini ya ba yogi la nti chuo muzi mukusabi la ba fuko ba kusami na yake tabaanga alina yomo kwa afuti alangu amangu kuyita mvuizi jangu sabi la mo yogo mo kwa afuti kile kile sina vada vata kile kwa nti umuntu ya sabi alikuwa daa mwere kabuli sinaba mga genda ni wazi kabuli si just anyhow hmm wei chomo ya nambi seburu nji ni hanzi za inyo walo kupanga mtu sikula amasu katunda ye bali amina aa uh, umunuja tuliriza nzida mkwebaza okubeda kuredi maria edubo zida kristo mumakago 
unako uluwa lero lukulu uluwa chitiba mbula mubo nange ate mungiri nja ule miyojo na ijili mpligatori nga chikakata kolo kwa agaro kutufu ili katonda na haba ntwabo ukubasabida dear brothers and sisters i would like to thank you most sincerely for embracing this voice in your life continue to support and listen to this voice always because it is your life it is christ himself speaking to us it is mother mary herself speaking to her children the more you embrace this voice the more you are assured of life Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in, in the, the beginning, beginning is now, and, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Eternal rest grant to them, and to our Lord. And it will perpetuation upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. May the souls of all the faithful departed through the mass of God rest in peace. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us stay in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Mm-hmm.